So in uh, shoulder arthroscopy, there are a lot of fluid which comes over to the patient. And once patient is out of anesthesia because of lot of fluid, the patient can go into hypothermia. So it is better to cover the entire body with this plastic drape so that the water or the normal saline doesn't fall onto the patient's body. So you just uh, you can take a normal plastic sheet, make a hole, and then pass it to the upper limb, just like a old drape. And uh, so this is a normal hospital-made traction device that we will show you. So this is the role we have taken from the Klingo drape. This is the normal thread. And with the dynaplast which, which we attach the hand with this tube of the Klingo drape and make sure that the hand is tightly the hand is tightly uh, kept with the dynaplast and the fist is closed so that during the surgery the hand doesn't come out. So you can use dynaplast or you can use a micropore also but dynaplast is better because it has strong adhesive. Now after attaching the hand we will show you how to use the traction, the traction which we have is not very fancy one, it is local made. So we have this custom made local traction device. So here there is a clamp which will attach to the any of the surgical table. So it is a universal size and then we we'll lock it here. Second, second unit by which we can adjust the height. So this is a optimum height and we will tighten it. And now the pulley, the thread and with the will be coming over these two pulley here. Then we will attach around 4 kg of weight like this. Okay. So as you can see, now hand is attached to the traction. Now we will give the lateral position. Pause curve. So as you can see, we have given the shoulder traction and this entire area is covered with the plastic. We have sealed the plastic all around with the micropore. So during the surgery, the bottle will not go over to the patient's chest or the abdomen. And the angle is around 45 degree. So this case is of a bank art repair where we give around 45 degree of abduction. As you can see, uh, we have given back support at the level of the buttocks and at the level of the scapula. And the body is kept around 30 degree posteriorly tilted because scapula is 30 degree anti-verted. We have to keep the glenohumeral joint parallel to the joint. So as you can see, with 30 degree of posterior tilting of the body, the glenohumeral joint becomes parallel to the floor so that our sheath and trocar can easily enter into the joint. If you keep the body dead lateral to enter in the joint it will become difficult. Now uh, the advantage of this device is it can be attached to any table so it is easily portable. The only disadvantage is there is no axial along with the axial traction there is no glenohumeral distraction so you can use a Gamgee pad here or your assistant can give a manual traction while doing bank cart repair. So uh, rotator cuff repair also we use the similar traction device and for bank cart also a similar traction. And the operative area is open, uh, entire hand is covered with sterile plastic drape and as you can see the attachment is on the posterior side and the anterior side we have tapped the 